Welcome back to Cork and Fork Radio 805. This is the time I always say, thank the Lord God Almighty, the creator of the heavens, the earth, the fullness thereof, for all the tremendous blessings he has bestowed upon each and every one of us. And if you live in the greater Santa Barbara 805 area, I'll tell you what, we've got something special coming up. And that is brought to you by A. Lewis Morrow Stand Up Santa Barbara Laugh Festival. This is going to be an amazing three-night stand-up Santa Barbara Laugh Festival. Discover the funniest person alive, a VIP stand-up comedy event, November 3rd, 3, 4, 5. November 3, 4, 5. This is great. November 3rd, which is Thursday night, the best comics of the 805. Friday, November 4th, International Comedy Night. Saturday, Santa Barbara Breakthrough Comedians. This is A. Lewis Morrow. He's traveled around the world. He's put on some of the biggest festivals alive, and he's trying to build Stand Up Santa Barbara Laugh Festival to equal the Santa Barbara International Film Festival, which I love. A. Lewis Morrow. Two thumbs up. I love what you're doing. Tell us about Stand Up Santa Barbara Laugh Festival, November 3, 4, and 5, my friend. Uh, so first of all, thank you. Thank you because you literally are Mr. Santa Barbara. You know, I've been living here 12 years, and there's not a person who doesn't know you. And a couple of other people, you know, John Palmentari, and I can go down the list, but you are definitely a pillar of the voice in this town, uh, this whole county. And it's uh I appreciate being on your show, so thank you very much. You're the, very welcome. The last festival in itself, yeah, the, the last festival in itself, the, the, it's really a tribute in many ways to the comics who came into Santa Barbara and have been performing in Santa Barbara over the last two years when COVID started. Uh, and, uh, you know, I decided to start a comedy night every night, Thursday night. And the Red Piano, Colin Collins, was fantastic. Him and his partner over there gave us the incredible, beautiful VIP backstage. And we've been doing it, and and we're highlighting comics that have been performing in Santa Barbara, not just through, you know, with myself, but also with Bear, uh, uh, Sam Bear and her shows, and some other people who are doing shows, uh, Let Loose Comedy. So we kind of, and peers, so anything in the 805 area, for example. Uh, so it's really a, a, a highlighting the, the comics that have now become comedians. Like, these are people that are busted out to the next level. Uh, one of them is headlining for the first time on Saturday night, Chris Williams. Be spectacular, definitely on the path to stardom. So that's that's the gist of it, uh, as far as the the comedy and the the comics that you're going to see are, are, you know, good, great comics. These are the people on the road to be headliners. Lewis Mora, what I got to say about this is this is so incredible, and I want the eight oh Cork and Fork Radio eight zero five Nation come out and support. We need to laugh more. We need to laugh more. We need to enjoy life more. I'll tell you what. When you're laughing, you feel better. You leave, you feel better. You're healthier. We need to laugh more. And Stand Up Santa Barbara Laugh Festival, this isn't just a couple people getting together to try to make a dollar or two. This is an incredible festival. 30 comedians. You've got over 30 comedians, my friend. Three nights, three, four, and five this is unbelievable what you're doing. You can buy tickets at RSVP at SBLaughFest.com. RSVP at SBLaughFest.com. And also visit Santa Barbara Laugh Festival.com. Santa Barbara Laugh Festival.com. There's about five or six, there's like six or seven pages. I got them all printed out in front of me. Lewis Mora, where did this concept come from, and do you see it like I do that this could be as big as the Santa Barbara International Film Festival one day? Yeah, so uh, absolutely. So uh, to take a step back on what I've produced, uh, uh, not to get into the full picture, but aside from feature films and, and projects like that, uh, so I also used to produce an event called the Hispanic World's Fair at the Jacob Javis Convention Center. That's a massive production. Uh, the idea for the festival here. Uh, was uh, I was fortunate at the Teddy Bear Foundation. Uh, they asked me to be a director, writer, and co-producer for a, a tribute to Cal Burnett. And I mean, who could say no, right? Absolutely. <laughs> a comedy <laughs> tribute to Cal Burnett. I was like, wait, when, the, when, when Fiona and Marnie called me, the first thing I said was, yes. And they didn't even ask the question, because I know these <laughs> two powerful women were going to ask me something. So I said, yeah, well, I don't know what you're going to ask me, but the answer is yes. 
I love and it. Was it. That. And I love it. Did it. And yes, I did it. We raised two hundred twenty thousand uh, dollars. And at that point, uh, I was like, we need to do a, a laugh festival, a comedy festival in town. And that was ten years ago. And there's a process. And I became a single dad with two kids and all these hurdles. But really what finally flipped it, like it was going to happen, uh, first of all, my daughters were older, so I had the bandwidth to do it, uh, was a conversation with uh, Abe Powell from the Bucket Brigade. And, you know, we went through a lot. I mean, just, just we went through a lot. I, I, that's a whole other conversation itself with the, the brief flows and mudslides and all that stuff. Um, uh, we, man, the town was depressed. It just felt like there was a low, mile-grade depression after fires, the brief flows, you know, I forget about the death and the losses and, and, and then COVID hit and, you know, just like Abe picked up the shovel and started digging. And then a lot of us got behind him. Next, you know, the Bucker Brigade is an impact in this community. I said, you know, what, Abe, I could do this. I have the experience. I know the relationships. We could do this. And there's no reason why we can't add to the beautiful events that are here, all the different other festivals, the, the Salsa's Parade, you know, obviously the, the film festival is, is spectacular. Um, I could go down the list of all the events that happened in Santa Barbara. So, Louis, let me and ju- we already have the people here. Let me, let me just jump in real quick because we're coming up against a hard break. But the Thanks. importance of this, what you are putting on, A. Louis Morrow, I love that. That's just so great when you're social media. Stand up, Santa Barbara Laugh Festival. This doesn't say come and get one laugh or two laugh. This is a laugh festival. This means you better come. You better be prepared to laugh. You've got 30 <laughs> comedians, 30 comedians <laughs> over three. Three nights, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. You've got celebrity judges. It's going to be fun. It's going to be great. But this is incredible because people, you need to enjoy life. You need to get out and laugh. And I understand there's a lot there's a lot of comedians out there, and they are been wanting to get into this. But you've right now got 30. You picked out your best 30. This is November 3, 4, and 5, November 3, 4, and 5, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, SantaBarbaraLaughFestival.com, SantaBarbaraLaughFestival.com. Lewis, you're coming back on in a couple of weeks. We're going to talk a little bit more about this. It's on our social media. It's on Cork and Fork Radio 805. It's on Mr. Santa Barbara. It's on all that. But I want you to go, and I want you to see this because you've got incredible people coming to make people better to make people happier and i think to actually to heal people because people who laugh you get healed but lewis i'm going to give you the last 30 seconds tell us the exciting part of what's going to be happening for stand up santa barbara laugh festival actually in downtown santa barbara you know we took on the the, the bold statement of discover the happiest uh, the funniest person alive like we're going to discover the funniest person alive. A lot of people push back against that, but I know you and I have had this conversation. The point is, if you discover that you're the funniest person alive, life could get really good. It really can. And there's comedy out there. There's comedy everywhere under any circumstance. And that's part of the mission. You know, this is not just a one-time event. All year round, we're also promoting but this is the highlight of the year, and next year will be its own highlight, and of course expand. So if I could leave anybody with any one thing, just ask yourself the question, are you happy? If the answer is no, Get to a comedy club right away tonight. Go to any comedy club in your town. You Absolutely, go to a comedy club. Absolutely. And if you are happy, bring a friend who's not happy to a comedy club. We need to laugh more. We just—it's really that simple. We, we need do. to laugh more. Absolutely, we're up against the break. I'm going to send it to Mark. But ladies and gentlemen, I highly recommend this. I'm going to be there. Stand up, Santa Barbara Laugh Festival. Stand up, Santa Barbara Laugh, Laugh Festival. November 3, 4, and 5. November 3, 4, and 5. There's a lot going on. We know that on the 4th. During the day, I'm going to be emceeing the Cancer Society's Riviera Luncheon. And then at night, I'm going to be at Stand Up Santa Barbara. Lots going on. Get it on your calendar. A. Lewis Morrow. Love you, brother. We'll talk to you in a couple weeks. And we're going to be following to see uh, what's growing and what's booming for Stand Up Santa Barbara LaughFestival.com. You're listening to Cork and Fork Radio, 805 Santa Barbara News Press Radio. There's a, a better day coming. Whoa, whoa. A better day coming. Whoa, whoa. A better day coming. So if I could leave anybody with any one thing, just ask yourself the question, are you happy? If the answer is no, 
Get to a comedy club right away tonight. Go to any comedy club in your town. You Absolutely. Gotta go to a comedy club. Absolutely. And if you are happy, bring a friend who's not happy to a comedy club. We need to laugh more. We just, it's really that simple. We, we need do. to laugh more. Absolutely. We're, but, ladies and gentlemen, I. Highly recommend this. I'm going to be there. Stand Up Santa Barbara Laugh Festival. Stand Up Santa Barbara Laugh, Laugh Festival. November 3, 4, and 5. November 3, 4, and 5. There's a lot going on. We 